Stanislaus Local Agency Formation Commission meeting for December 2nd, 2020. We will begin, let's see, with the Pledge of Allegiance to our flag. Appropriate? I pledge allegiance, allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Okay, we'll now have uh, the introduction of commissioners and staffs. Amy, we will start with you. Amy Bublack, city member. Bill Berryhill, public member. Jim Martini, county member. And Terry Withrow, county member. Richard O'Brien, alternate city member. Sarah Lottle Penny, executive officer. Alice Mims, LAFCO council. Mm -hmm. Jennifer Vieira, commission clerk. Okay, here's the. What we've all been waiting for is public comment period. Anybody would like to address this board on a non-agenda item, this would be the time. We'll give you all the time that you want. I guess there's no comment today. Well, you don't want to ever say that in Patterson. They have public comment goes on for two hours. <laughs> okay. We uh, will next. Uh, we'll go to agenda item three. Approval of the minutes. Does anybody on this board uh, wish to <coughs> comment on the minutes there? Have any additions or corrections to them? Move to approve. Second. Okay, motion's made uh, and seconded to approve the minutes. All those in favor aye. say aye. aye. Those opposed? Okay, motion's carried. No additions or corrections. We'll now go to agenda item four, uh, correspondence. Um, do we have anything that's that's specific or anything that has to be brought up? I have some comments on it. So. There's no additional correspondence other than what's on the agenda. I just want to call this commission's uh, <clears throat> attention to this West Patterson uh, Business Park agreement. Uh, the city of Patterson has an agreement with the county longstanding that they would not take the industrial land that the county developed and put it into residential housing without a significant penalty. And by significant, I mean like $20 million <clears throat> plus the interest. In fact, I talked to the auditor today to try and have her start calculating that interest. Um, but anyway, if they, they haven't pulled the trigger on it yet, they backed down last night at their council meeting and they put it on to the 15th now. So I've notified a county council and the auditor there to start calculating the interest because if they do that, that starts the clock going. So anyway, this is really significant. Uh, as far as the county is concerned, this is a really big deal. It's a $10 million penalty if they do this. Plus they have to pay us back for Sperry Road and Baldwin Road plus 16 years of interest. So we're preparing their bill now. Okay, and there's also the C. Um, I think in the uh, the other correspondence too. I think there's a reference to this also. Yeah, proposed redesignation uh, designation approved by Planning Commission. Before this item went to the City Council, it went to the Planning Commission on a special meeting, an emergency meeting. They just had a meeting the week before the Planning Commission. But they tried to sneak it through without anybody finding out about it in a special meeting. We found out about it, though, and opposed it. So anyway, they sent it on uh, to, uh, to the city council and went ahead and passed the first reading of it. But it hasn't passed the, uh, the second reading. Of significance, too, is the applicant here. Uh, th this is, I just got to tell you this because this it irritates me so much. I'm going to read from the correspondence here. The applicant is in robust communication with the school district. The school district called me about it. He was furious. He said that the robust communication was an email of a few sentences the day before the meeting with no actual discussion with the school district at all. So, so much for the robust uh, communication with the school district. They're just a bunch of liars and thieves is what they are. <clears throat> Fake news. That's just my opinion, though. But, uh, 
uh, <clears throat> if you doubt me, call Phil Orfano, the superintendent of the schools, and he'll tell you. I couldn't get him off the phone. He kept going. Wow. He was so mad, he was on the phone with me for 40 minutes complaining about it. Okay, so that's it for the uh, correspondence. The, you know, staff has always done a good job in preparing uh, correspondence in, you know, news articles that uh, the commission would have an interest in. So I always have appreciated that, and the effort that it takes to do that. Okay, we will now move to agenda item five. Does anybody wish to declare a conflict of interest? Anyone? Okay, I don't either. <coughs> we will move then to agenda item six. Uh, this is consent item. This is the work program for next year. Anybody wish to comment on this or pull this item for further discussion? Move to approve. Okay, motion's been made to approve. Is there a second? Second. Okay, motion's made and seconded. All those in favor of the motion, signify by saying aye. 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 Those opposed? Okay, motion's carried unanimously. Well, we're just moving right along here. Okay, we will now move to a uh, public hearing, agenda item seven, uh, LAFCO application 2020-02. Sarah? So tonight we'll be looking at California Truck Center. It's a proposed change of organization or an annexation to the Keys Community Service District. So this proposed annexation um, is in order to provide water and sewer service for a future truck sales and service center. Um, this is actually, the annexation itself involves 9.8 acres. It's a portion of the overall project site that's already in Keys Community Service District. So this would help create a more logical boundary for the district and the project. Just give you an idea of where the project is in relation to the district boundaries. It's located um, south of Noons Road off of Golden State Boulevard um, in the southern part of Keys, um, just north of the existing sphere of influence for Keys Community Service District. And this is an aerial of the site just to show uh, sort of the surrounding uses. The site itself has been vacant for quite some time. Uh, the county had approved um, project actually as far back as uh, 1980 for uh, trucking use just to the west of that site. Um, you can kind of see the old driveways and such forth. And then more recently, the county approved a project in 2015 that would have allowed uh, highway frontage uses and an ag equipment dealership on the site. Um, that dealership didn't actually end up locating there and a new use this california truck um, use has proposed uh, to locate at that site so the county has recently approved a semi-truck sales and service facility for that location and annexation was listed as one of the conditions of approval for that so there's several factors for consideration uh, for the commission to consider tonight for the annexation they're detailed in the staff report on pages two through five. They include consistency with the general plan, adopted community plans, uh, local LAFCO policies, and any potential ag impacts. Um, in this case, the county was lead agency for the CEQA on the project, the environmental review, which is also attached to the report, and they did not find any significant impacts to agricultural resources. Staff evaluated the factors and concluded that the proposal is consistent with local plans and regulations, that the district has uh, pr also provided a will serve letter showing that they can and will serve the proposal. It's consistent with the district's existing sphere of influence and is a logical expansion of the district. As part of the commission's approval, uh, we'll also be requesting that the commission waive protest proceedings. The findings that you see listed here um, all apply the territory is uninhabited, the property owner is given consent, and there's no agency that's in opposition. And with that, staff is recommending that the commission adopt resolution number 2020-10, that would approve the annexation as requested, subject to the standard terms and conditions, and then waive protest proceedings. And staff is available for questions. Any questions of staff at this time? I'm required, I don't see any, I'm required to open a public hearing for our audience there. So we uh, open the public hearing. If anybody wish to address this board, please come to the podium. State your name for the record. 
Okay, seeing no one, I'll close the public hearing and bring it back to the board for discussion and action. Actually, technically, we really have to open the public hearing even if nobody's here. I was curious, the city of Turlock have an opinion about this? Yeah, I was thinking that. <laughs> I, I have no opinion of this, no. no. This was a site, I remember, I'm almost certain, where a John Deere dealer was going to go out at one time. Yep. No, I remember this came to the board, and they had talked to me about it, and they really wanted to go out there, and we approved it, and they never did it. Did they go somewhere else, Jim? Or no, they they're still come? still there on um, Whitmore and Crow's Landing. Mm -hmm. They have a nice building there. They wanted to put in a bigger building with a bigger shop. And I remember them, because I had John Deere equipment. Mm -hmm. I used to go there fairly frequently. I remember talking to them about it, and they were all gung-ho to go and <clears throat> approved the site, and they just backed away from it. But uh, from, I, I'm familiar with it because I remember going out and looking at it before when it came to the board. It uh, seems like it would be a good fit. If we were, there's truck places there already. There's, uh, I think nearby there's uh, RV sales and there's a Peterbilt uh, uh, place there for new car sales. So it's, <clears throat> it's right along the freeway. So I, I don't have really any uh, opposition to this. I know. I thought if any opposition came, it would be coming from Turlock. So. Yeah. Doesn't look like Turlock has any opposition. Does anybody have anything to say about this? It looks good. It does. It looks good. And the applicant was so <clears throat> sure that we were going to pass this, they didn't even show up. Okay, well, does anybody want to make a motion one way or the other? A motion to approve. I'll second okay. it. Now, we have different options, though, so I want to be sure that you... We have option one, two, one, and three. One, two, and three, so when you make your motion, you can kind option of restate one. which option that you want. I think staff is re uh, recommending option one, but you're not bound by that. It would be on page six. Yeah, uh, uh, option one. Make okay. a motion to approve option one. <clears throat> okay, motion's been made to approve option one. Is there a second? I will second that. Okay, let's second. Any further discussion? <clears throat> All those in favor of the motion, signify by saying aye. 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 Those opposed to the motion? Motion passes unanimously. I can't believe how well we get along. <clears throat> Okay, we will now move to agenda item eight, recognition of outgoing commissioners. So I don't really have much to say, but um, <laughs> I'm one of the outgoing commissioners, maybe the only one, huh? I think so, yeah. <laughs> yeah, Terry's, he's going to have to be here, so you're going to stay on? Uh, yes, um, if, if I'm selected. Okay, well, I've always considered LAFCO you know, a little bit obscure, but a very important commission. And the decisions we make here are really of, of real importance because we can scrutinize, you know, annexations, development. Uh, we can look at the spheres of influence and uh, municipal service reviews, but especially the annexations to be sure that, you know, they make sense and that they're, uh, that the residents of a new area would have you know, the, the same as the the city that it's annexing. They would have the water, they would have the sewer, they would have the roads and the parks and the police protection and the fire and all that. So they, you know, a new annexation would not be second-class citizens. They would have everything that everybody else had. And that they, you know, the annexation was contiguous with what was there and it just, you know, made sense to do that. And this commission has always really scrutinized that, and uh, you know, always thought it made very good decisions. So I think um, you know, in the future, there may be one coming from you pretty soon that uh, uh, that was going to have an island in it. <clears throat> and I really think you better take a really good hard look 
it what Newman's proposing to have an annexation with an island in it and with the uh, irrigation district opposing it uh, with the water lines going through the city <clears throat> my opinion there but I haven't seen the actual item yet so but I know it's got an island in it so I think we ought to really take a good hard look at that to make sure that that annexation makes sense uh, but I've I've always uh, had a high regard for LAFCO and have tried to go every year to um, you know the annual convention this year it didn't happen like, nothing happened this year <laughs> Every community event, uh, conference, uh, county fair, even the Christmas tree lightings in the three cities I have in my district have all been canceled. That's a shame. Yeah, so I just you see what these Chinese cooked up this virus there in their lab, and it just devastated our country. So it well, worked it, out so well for them, I wouldn't well, be surprised. I do have the Christmas tree lighting in Riverbank on Friday. Oh, you do? <laughs> yes, Anna and I will be there at least. Oh, okay. Oh, oh, the other oh, oh. cities have canceled it. 5.30. That's p.m. Good job. 17.30. On Friday, huh? So. Yeah. Did you see our Memorial Day event? No, I did not. Memorial. 23,000 views? That's pretty good. Well, views? Yeah. yeah. To go in person. Well, we had people there. <clears throat> I know in... Um, Memorial Day, I used to go to two different events. Veterans Day, too, was canceled. Memorial oh. Day, I used to start out in uh, Patterson. In spite of all of that, we do have a little something for you. Ooh. <laughs> but I, have, I have something for you. I, I wanted to note, too, um, Commissioner Van Winkle's not here, but he's also an outgoing commissioner, and he was on for five years, and we appreciated his service as well. And so we have something for him as well that we're sending to him. Um, but I wanted to, to recognize you, Chairperson Demartini, for being on uh, LAFCO since 2007. It might be a new record. Um, All right. Wow. Well, <laughs> well I like LAFCO, and I think it's an important commission. And, and I wanted to note, too, that uh, last year, um, Chairperson Demartini was awarded Outstanding Commissioner uh, from Cal LAFCO, <laughs> the statewide association. It was a pretty intense competition with all the other commissioners there. But that, to, to get that award is, uh, is pretty honorable. And was, <clears throat> that was for their, their ag, uh, ag policy that we had. That I was listening to them talking about this, this policy. I said, I said, wow, I said, that sounds like something we, we did. I'd like to talk to the person who uh, was getting this award. It turned out to be me. <laughs> I, was, uh, <clears throat> I was impressed with, uh, with the agenda <laughs> item. He was impressed with himself. But and I didn't realize they were talking about me because they just left that to the end. I said, wait, that's a really great policy. That was, that was one of the reasons you got the award, too, is, is going to those, um, those conferences, you had actually brought back uh, to the commission what you had learned about ad policies, and you, you helped spur a policy locally here at this commission. So that was thanks to you for, for attending all those conferences. Um, so we appreciate your dedication to LAFCO for all these years. and. We do have a small token of gratitude for you. I know. I know, I know Ferrari's got a, a new model things. coming out, so I was hoping maybe. You know. <laughs> <laughs> You'll have to add this to your collection. I know, but I'm going to bring this up to you. I'm leaving it in the plastic, but it's very rare that we have something with our logo on it. Oh. So this this honors your years of service, of which are many, and thank you for. Commissioner for great yeah. Yeah. Okay, well, you might want to email that to me. Thank you very much. Jim, I'm going to add here too. This is going to be the first, probably, of many of these kind of finals for you here. But um, but I know you're going to leave a void here on LAFCO. We have um, I've always, you know, looked to you, looked to you and admired what you've done here at LAFCO and like. Sarah said it's been 13 years, but what you've done for the ag community and, you know, the ag element and on the board and, and everything you've done has been um, just as a leader, like I said, not only here but in the state. And, um, and we, we are going to have a hard time filling your spot here. I think Vito's going to jump in. But, um, but I've, like I said, I've always looked to you and, and for guidance on all these issues. And, and there's so many things across the county that, um, that you've affected by, as part of your um, 
your knowledge and expertise and being on LAFCO and you're, you're always looking to preserve Agland and, um, and I've always respected that and one of the reasons I kind of got into this stuff um, had to do with, with the preservation mm -hmm. of Agland and, and, and the stuff that you were doing. So um, we are going to miss you you know, immens immensely here. Um, and this is just one spot where you'll be, you know, we won't have you anymore and we'll miss your knowledge and, and your, or, um, your comments and everything you do. Um, um, so anyway, very much you're going to miss and appreciate everything you've done here just in this spot tonight in LAFCO and thank you for everything you've done. Oh, thank you for <clears throat> those kind words there. I was glad I made it to this meeting, the final meeting here, without getting recalled. So that was really <laughs> a, <clears throat> a real accomplishment on my part. You know, snuck up on Gray Davis. <clears throat> but um, I don't know, I just really thought a lot of LAFCO and I guess Vito's going to take the place there. The, not many people are really aware of LAFCO, but it's a really important commission with some really uh, significant charges and power <coughs> that uh, to do a lot of good. Yeah, I can think just in the short time that I've been here, just several times that some critical issues that came came here, came before us, came before staff, that um, really made a difference in this county. That um, I mean, I always think of Wood Colony and the work that staff did with this most recent attack attempt on Wood Colony and. Um, Anyway, LAFCO, as a result of LAFCO, uh, <coughs> a lot yeah. of good things are happening in this county, have pres been preserved in this county. That's right. Well, LAFCO has a great staff, and I tell you, when I called Sarah about this, she fired off a very well-written letter about that yeah. uh, wood colony. Well, that's correct. That's right. And it wasn't really an annexation. It was a urban limit line, which uh, I thought was very well-written. And then you got a, another one later, so it was... That was great, and then just another example is tonight. You know, um, the the letter that um, that Sarah sent off here with regard to what's going on in Patterson. You know, it's just those that, type of things shows how important this this um, commission is. That one's really interesting. There, it won't be coming to Lafco because it's already in the city limits. But um, before I leave here, I want to be sure that the auditor calculates the interest. I want to know how much it is, and it's going to be in the millions. So, but you take a really close look at that. I will tell you, don't back down. No worries, Jim. We got it. We got it. We got you covered here. <clears throat> I'll quit talking to you if you back down uh -oh. on that there. <laughs> so I, I'd like to say something as well. Um, when I got placed on LAFCO by uh, then Mayor Lazar, I had no idea what LAFCO was, and and it was actually your passion towards LAFCO that kind of got me. It was infectious. So I, I went to um, one of the annual events and, and you were so in, like involved in every step and, I, and I, so you were a leader and I was just kind of trying to emulate what you did and trying to learn and at the time um, uh, your nephew O'Brien was on and uh, I've just, it, it made me realize what a great spot this was but it was you that started my, my passion for LAFCO. So thank you. Okay, thank you for those kind words. So, well, I've enjoyed the year. The years won't go by fast, so fortunately I'm a tax refugee and I'm fleeing the state for <laughs> the uh, high taxes and trying to put some distance between myself and Emperor Newsom. <laughs> That's what I will miss. <laughs> those kind of comments. <laughs> well, <clears throat> Plus all the free stuff that I've given away over these 16 years, too. I'm the only one on this board who's got a free stuff basket in their office. All the things people have asked me for, ridiculous things over the years, I'd write it down and I'd put it in the basket. <laughs> yeah. Okay, well, thank you for all your kind words. That was uh, very nice of you. And do you have a plaque for... Um, the Mayor Van Winkle. Yeah, we'll, we'll be sending him a plaque and a little note with it as well. Hmm. Okay, Commissioner, comments. Further comments, anybody? Okay, I do not have any more, uh, uh, any additional matters. Just watch out for islands, because I think you're going to get a proposal for one pretty soon. Executive Officer's Report.
Yeah, so our next meeting is scheduled for January 27th, 2021. And right now, uh, we just have two business items scheduled for that meeting. So I'm considering it tentative at this point. We may also have two new commissioners coming on board um, right before that meeting. So I will uh, keep the commission informed. What we may do is just combine those items with February's meeting and, and cancel January. But I'm putting it on hold right now in case we do get um, something that comes in in a timely manner in the next couple of weeks that we need to have in January. Um, but other than that, um, I'll keep you updated on, on who we get as new commissioners. And thank you again. I, I know in the, the, the county veto will be on. He's an alternate already, so he's familiar with that. Has Patterson submitted an application for annexation? No. no. As far as we know, we haven't seen the draft EIR yet either, so it probably won't be for a bit. No, oh, okay. I just wasn't sure where that was at. Okay, so the tentative meeting will be January 27th. Yeah. Next one. Okay, well that brings us to the close of the meeting. Unless anybody in the audience wants to say anything. Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas. Okay, being no further business, this meeting stands adjourned. Thank you.